Hey everybody, welcome back to Owl Creek. That was a quick shot of our baby rabbits that we have back here. So it's been probably two weeks or so since I've done any filming. So I wanted to catch you guys up and let you know what's been going on here. We've still been getting work done, just haven't been behind the camera. So this right here is our five baby silver fox rabbits. We have all of them in with this mama. She's done good. I fostered the one surviving silver fox from this mom over here. She has raised the baby just fine along with her own four. As you can see here, they're now all eating out of a feeder and drinking and drinking from the water system that I have. And I still have not yet got the circulating heated water system built. I will be doing that really soon. We're starting to get down below freezing every night. So I really need to get that done. Hold on, there's some dogs fighting over here. Girls, girls. Hey, hey, girls, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? So as you can see here, Little Miss Raven is growing like a weed. Yes, you too, Zaley. You're a good girl. She's 45 pounds now, so she's about the same size almost as our Black Lab here. But she has been a great companion for our Black Lab, and she is getting so protective of the family. Anytime we go outside, if just a limb falls out of a tree, she protects us from whatever she can, so... She is doing great, but now back to the rabbits real quick. This doe here, and, sorry, lighting's horrible. And this doe right here, they are rebred, and right around Thanksgiving, we should be having some baby rabbits out of them. Now, I made a few videos and didn't post, so I don't know if it posted, but I'll say it again. This mama right here, I was going to go ahead and butcher her, but I want to try to just put some hay in there and let her build her own nest instead of using a nest box. And we're going to do the same thing with the other mama down there. She didn't use a nest box last time, but yet she built an awesome nest just in the hay. Okay, so that's it for the rabbits. So now I'm going to run you over and I'm going to show you what we have going on with the goats. Okay, so for our male goats... We have both the bucks up here at my house. We have Thunder, this guy right here, and Ed back here. Ed is the current sire to all of our does. We may be getting rid of Ed after this year. We aren't sure yet. Depends on how many girls we have this kidding season. So out of our five pregnant does, we do plan to keep most of our doelings and prob probably replace some of our does. And... Mr. Thunder here will be taken over. So now I'm going to run you down and show you our does. We are three weeks away from babies being on the ground. Raven. Hi, girl. Hi, puppy. Hi, Zay Zay. Can't you girls play nice? <laughs> Alright, so before I run you up to the goats and show you all of our girls, I want to show you our chickens here. Give you a little update. My parents came out here, they added on this blue tarp. Uh, we've got too many chickens, really, for what can fit now in our hen house. So, added on that little blue tarp just to keep a little extra warmth. That way, any of them that roost outside the hen house at night will be a little bit warmer. But all the chickens are doing great. We are still getting just about as many eggs as we got all summer. So the light that's inside the hen house is obviously working. The girls are still laying for us and we're still selling eggs. Come 
Come on, girls. Hi, girls. Hi, goats. Hi, girls. Come on. So here's all of our pregnant mamas right now, except for our weather right there. And our little Dolly, Kaylee. Hi, Chocolate. Hi, girl. There we go. So as you can see here, we've got a lot of big bellies and some udders that are starting to fill. So we shouldn't be real far off. If I can get up here behind Bucky, you can really see her udder. And then out there in the light, you really can't see, I don't think, on the camera. It's precious. Uh, she is the size of a pickup truck now, and her udder's filling. So I'm thinking the way that these girls look, we're looking at about probably December 7th through December 10th will be our first babies hitting the ground. Chocolate here, she'll be later. She'll probably be closer to January, I think, but the rest of them. All right, so with the way that our girls are looking here, I really do think that around December 7th to December 10th time frame, we're going to start having some babies on the ground. So stick around and watch our videos for that. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and that notification bell so you know when we have new baby goat videos coming out. Hi girls. <clears throat> I know you want food, it's not time to eat yet, okay? Okay, so that's it here. Just a quick animal update. Wanted to keep you guys filled in on what we've had going on since I haven't been making any videos here for the past few weeks. Hope that you all enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.